we talk about searching the next point it's, it begins after the recruitment plan and the strategy are developed line managers also initiated by filling in the requisitions for employees the operations manager for example becomes a line manager now he may have a requirement to hire a, a production engineer for example so he will send a requisition slip to the hr people and they in turn they will put it into the strategy and go for the recruitment process as for the plans this is a searching operation next comes screening it refers to the scrutiny and the shortlisting of the candidates like i told you earlier we are getting all the applications coming to us and when the applications come to us we do what is called a screening or shortlisting okay now job specifications are used to weed out unsuitable applicants evaluation and control recruitment process is evaluated on the basis of the number of applications received and the number of candidates that went through the selection process due to various reasons but if my communication is not clear i will find that all and sundry are applying so instead of expecting 1000 applications i may get something like 5000 applications also this is poor recruitment so 1000 comes in 800 go for selection process it's a very good signal but if 1000 comes in and i find only 50 or 100 or 200 go it's not a good sign it means in the recruitment process somewhere i have lost out on some aspect of it it could be communication it could be the way i structure the job specification sheet it could be the way the job analysis is not been done continuing further the cost of the recruitment process is also essential how much am i spending on this in terms of time money manpower the number of candidates retained after probation period and the performance of the candidates selected these are all the factors that evaluate the recruitment process the probation period is the time when the person is tested now there is a likelihood that the person has understood something different from what we had put in the advertisement he joins the company it must have happened to some of you listening to me after joining the company you start getting a disillusion oh my god this is something very different so what happens during the probation itself people leave and go it has happened in many companies so the number of candidates retained after probation those who stay after the probation are the ones who are not only sold out on what you told them they are also convinced the way they are working with the organization it's a very committed and very responsible job because at the entry point is a time when you have to decide whether the person is coming to an organization or not and if you make a mistake then it becomes too damaging to the organization and to the person whom you are recruiting this is the major issue we are facing today in many organizations especially in service sector